Yeah, what up? It's your boy JD Era, aka Era, 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 and Era. And right about now, you're checking out this is 50.com. I'll let your boy. No handouts. You know what it is. Bitches over money. What is it like growing up in Toronto? Toronto's dope, man. You know, we got like, we got a dope scene over there. It's a, a lot of cultures, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of different influences and, and kind of when it comes to the music, it's dope because you can kind of pull from all sorts of different genres and mm -hmm. different kind of people, different experiences, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, over there. But it's, for me, it's home, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's just, it's a dope multicultural city, like it's a beautiful city. So the music scene is like getting real crazy and shit. Yeah. Now that you got Drake, you got Justin Bieber. I, I hear you did a song with Drake. Yeah, yeah, me and Drake got a couple joints back in the day, you know what Oh, I mean? you, but this is before he popped off? Yeah, yeah, kind of when he was coming up, you know, we were kind of in the same circles or mm -hmm. whatnot. And just just uh, doing joints back in the day. Still a homie, you know what I'm saying? It's just- You still got his number? Yeah, 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 I still got the contact. Oh, okay, I still got cool, the contact, cool, cool, you know cool, what I'm cool. saying? But um, he just kind of doing this thing. He doing this thing separately. We grinding separately and uh, just trying to put on for the city, really. We got a new label situation with Raekwon. Yes, sir. How did you and Raekwon hook up? Man, the chef actually came out to my city, you know what I'm saying? He came to Toronto and he's been over there the last like year, year and a half, just kind of showing niggas love, you know what I mean? Coming through the studio, hearing music and um, just kind of around April, he came. I played him the new tape and he was just like, that's it. Still don't like rappers, nigga, get the fuck up out of here. See, first she swallowed a pride and then she swallowed a crew. No, I don't play nice with others, that's why I'm not in a group. And you be blowing your paper, that's why you'll never recoup. That's why you not in a coop. You talk it, you better shoot. You taking a chance of dying like feeding a lion fruit. I tell them I'm living proof. When talent's given a boot. When God's given a son and the devil's given a suit. When one's given the throne and the other's given a stoop. I wasn't given a thing, so I'ma give them the truth, man. Oh shit, did you hear that? <laughs> he said he gonna give them the truth. So what do you think you bring to the, the Raekwon situation? Cause you know it's a legendary dude right there. Yeah. Do, do you feel the pressure to also, you know what I'm saying, to, to really produce and everything? Um, the, I mean, it definitely, it, it's a different type of pressure. You know, like Ray got his own legacy, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and for me, it's just, it's more about not tarnishing that. I, I just want to bring a, a new energy to his, to his career and kind of a new energy to the label and, and to everyone around, you know what I mean? Just, be that hungry new nigga, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. Right, them right, them right. seeing that is just gonna kind of bring bring a new energy to everyone and make everyone want to work a little bit harder. But that, that's definitely just that versatility and, and, and whatnot is really what I'm bringing bringing over there. You know what I mean? Right. And so, uh, what's the move right now, man? Is it gonna be the mixtape? Is gonna be the album? What we doing right now? Man, the mixtape is damn near an album, all original material. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, it's called No Handouts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be available www.nohandouts.net. Original joints. I got Lex Luger on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you gotta go hard in the fact. Gotta give him that, you know, and, and, and Lex blessed me with a couple joints, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I got um some crazy in-house producers, my homie Snaz, Beat Merchant, mm -hmm. Big mm -hmm. Pops, you know, Northern Profits. I got a lot of like good people in-house, mm -hmm. some dope features. The man Ray gonna be all over that thing, you know. What I mean? Me and him been banging out joints, so uh it's gonna be crazy, man. I'm just excited to put out some new music and, and kind of show people that the city has a lot of, of talent out there, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and the world, I just want to show the world, you know, what it is. J.D. Era to the motherfucking world. Niggas no handouts. Yeah, no no handouts. Hand what does that mean to no. you right now? I mean, for me... Oh, is it self-explanatory? It's kind of self-explanatory, you know, like, we've been giving niggas free music for a while now, you know what I'm saying? But it's more of um the mind state I was kind of in just making it, you know what I mean? It's kind of like... Mm -hmm. Nobody's given us nothing, you know what I mean? And, and 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 to get to the point that we're at, it's been our own grind and, and, and our own work and our own dollars, you know what I mean? So no handouts, the shit is self-explanatory. And when that shit drop, niggas gonna know what's up, man. Word, word, you know word. What's up? Hey, but how can the people get in contact with you if they want to talk to you straight up, JD? Uh, you want to holler at me? I'm on that Twitter, you know, like everyone at JD Era, um, on Facebook, JD Era. We do the social media thing. You know word, what I mean? word, word. Really it's very to, important to your movement. Right now, it's like, that's the world right now, you know what I mean? It's like click of a button, you're, you're to everyone. Just it's, it's really based on the amount of work you put in, you know what I mean? If you, if you grind it out, it's bound to get out there, you know what I mean? And that's really what we're doing. Like, I'm out, niggas see me, I'm out here in New York, you know what I mean? Trying to get my music to the people and, and make sure, really connect with you guys face to face. Cause like the internet is one thing, but when a nigga see you, you know, get to see your yeah, vibe. Yeah, you, you gotta get in them streets, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, exactly. they wanna know you real. Yeah, we out here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Niggas see me out here, and I come dolo, niggas know. You know what I mean? We mm -hmm. go through the hood, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? When it's you so first love. came through the door, I was like, nah, that ain't him. <laughs> by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I roll. You know, like, it's been crazy for the last couple of years. I've been grinding out here. Everyone's been showing me mad love, so it's like a second home for me. Man, like I always That's say, love, you just can't say you real. It's something you gotta be. <laughs> and remember, bitches over money. We have it. I'll let your boy.
Hey, if you enjoyed this JD era interview, you're going to love this one and this one. Click them now. This is 50.com. Subscribe right now to This is 50 interviews right now because I say it so. Watch me do it. I gotta go. Uh, uh, bitches over money.